Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian, and today I'm going to take you a little look what's inside my bag. First off, we'll start with the putters. Putting with the James Conrad Glow Pro AVRs. The nice grippy plastic, but still pretty firm, where I feel like I can get a really good grip and spin on my putts. They grab the chains. Typically when I miss, they don't skip or bounce or roll too far. My off the tee putter is a 2015 Mic Pro AVR. This disc right here is nice and straight right now, uh, getting ready to replace it with a slightly more overstable one. But I can get this to go nice and straight uh, for most of my up shots, my putter ups, this is probably what I'm pulling out. My understable putter is the Garrett Gerthy Star Sonic. I use this for some really good throw-in bids or anything like that from a good ways out. And my overstable putter, Got the XT AVR X3. Like this for forehands and backhands. Off the tee with a lot of power. I can put on this. Um, it's very grippy, so it doesn't want to roll away or skip or slide or anything like that. Typically, it, it sits where it hits and doesn't really move. Let's go to the mid ranges. Here are five mid ranges. First off, I've got a Glow Champion Gator. I use this forehand and backhand when I need something just a little bit further than the AVR X3. And then I carry four rocks. I've got a McGlow Rock 3 from 2018 run. Super, super beat up and super understable. This is what I use for all of my just nothing but turnover mid-range shots and, you know, really big hyzer flips if I would ever need to for some reason. I've got a Champion Rock 3. This one is just super, super straight. Uh, this one... Doesn't really have much turn or fade until the very end of the flight, and then it kind of fades out a little bit once it slows down. But for the majority of the flight, this right here really just holds a nice, good straight line. Then we've got my Color Glow Rock 3. This one right here is very, very nice. It's my workhorse. This one right here I can throw out and go straight and then just continues to gradually fade. I don't really get too much turn out of this one unless I intentionally try to. And then I've got my Rock X3. This is the 2017 Star pre-release. This is beaten up to where it's pretty straight now, but it has a very, very reliable fade, and I get no turnover out of this whatsoever. So if I really need to power up on a mid-range shot, this is what I'm pulling out. Let's get to the fairway drivers. That's what I carry the most of in the bag. Uh, start off the slowest. Um, carry a T-Bird, the Star T-Bird. I really like this for straight to understable wood shots. I've got a Star T-Bird 3, and this is what I carry pretty well for my straight to slightly overstable wood shots. Uh, something that is a little bit faster than the T-Bird, but also has just a little more fade and a little more resistance to that turn. Uh, we'll get to my Valkyries. Carry two of them. First one is a 150 class Champion Valkyrie that is super gummy. Super understable. This one right here I use mainly for low ceiling rollers. Something that I can get out flat and it'll do all the work and get to the ground and roll for me. And then my go-to roller disc and my go-to just straight turnover disc of choice is the Valkyrie. The Star Valkyrie, rather. Uh, this one right here is, like I said, my main go-to roller disc. And anything that I need, a hyzer flip forehand or backhand, and then get the ante afterwards. So, this is what I use. Then we'll get to my Firebirds. Got a pre-flight 12-ton Firebird. I love this disc. This right here is my main backhand Firebird, uh, but I can use it for forehands and I need to hold straighter for longer. It's a little more understable. Got a bottom stamp USDGC Sexton. This one right here, I'm really getting worked in. It's brand new to the bag. I lost my last one in Vegas, so it's still really new to the bag. I'm trying to get it Get a good feel for it, but this right here is one of the better feeling fibers I think I've ever had. A little more overstable than that, I've got a 2014 Glow Champion, and this right here is the one I was pulling out in Vegas a lot. This one here was probably one of my just go-to workhorses, uh, forehand or backhand, very overstable but very controllable. And the most overstable thing in my bag currently is the flat top metal flake. Champion Firebird. This is also a 2014 run, super stiff, and the thing only wants to hyzer. It is incredibly, incredibly overstable, and it's I use it for skip shots 
and that's about it. Really low skippers or some overhand skip. We'll get to the distance stuff. Uh, I only carry two molds of distance driver. First is the Wraith, and this one right here, perfect conditions, I can get a long distance roller out of this. And other than that, typically it's just a big turnover uh, driver or controlled woods distance. Like I need to get a long ways in the woods, but it needs to be on a good, just straight line. That's probably what I'm pulling out. And then my destroyers. I carry a flippy, bottom stamped, three line Kira destroyer. It's nice and pop top. Really understandable. It's right here. And just get for big, huge turnovers or absolute maximum distance, like distance contest kind of stuff. Uh, my pretty much my go-to destroyer right now is this Swirly Star from 2014. This is super gummy, uh, and for being as gummy and flimsy almost as it feels, it's still really overstable. This is my go-to in Las Vegas uh, when I had a lot of room to work and I can really just power up on a big drive. This is what I was pulling out. And then since I lost my SDS on 18 of the end of a course in Las Vegas, I put two new destroyers, well, new to me destroyers in my bag. They're both pre-flight destroyers and they're pretty well twins. I'm trying to get them worked out, see which one I like better. Uh, this is just the Star DS run. It's a little gummier, just a little more overstable than the Swirly. And then this is the SDS run. This one's stiffer and got a little more of a pop top to it. This is a good bit more overstable, so until I can try to get my other SDS back, this one right here will probably take its place in the bag. So this one right here is probably there to stay, and the blue one might get cycled out with my swirly every once in a while to kind of keep them both about the same stages of wear. So that is everything in my bag. Um, I was trying not to make this one a quick one. It's actually like the third take I've tried for this video. Uh, the first two were just way too long and everything. So I was just trying to do a quick video today and let you guys know what I was throwing in Las Vegas, what I'm currently throwing right now before the weather warms back up. When the weather warms up, typically I'll throw some of my Champion Edition discs back in. But for now, while it's still cold, that's right there is probably what I'm going to be running with for the next few months. So, guys, stay on the lookout for some new content. Uh, I'm wanting to do some discussion posts, or well, discussion type videos of some different topics in disc golf that would be worth really looking into. So hit me up in the comments on things that you guys would like to see put on the channel, things you would like to hear me talk about, especially from an amateur's perspective. One thing I'm wanting to do is how many molds should be in your bag. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to give you the, the pro line of, you know, every thousand rated player says, you know, only carry four molds and just everything needs to be beat up to a certain point that way it does something different. You know, I'll give you an amateur's perspective on what, on how many molds I carry and then how many molds I think everyone else should carry. And the answer might shock you a little bit. So I definitely want to do that. And if there are any more topics like that, any hot topics in disc golf right now that anyone wants to see covered or just hear my opinion of, hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I'll work on getting them out. So keep a lookout for more content. And I will see you guys next time.